is Wilfred Ndidi cut out for Jurgen Klopp's gegen pressing Liverpool? Hello everyone and welcome to the What If League. In today's episode I'm going to um, try and experiment what would happen if Liverpool signed Wilfred Ndidi from Leicester. Wilfred Ndidi is the young 21 years old Nigerian uh, midfielder. He's a very dynamic player that um, has been making um, a lot of uh, positive uh, performances this year for the Foxes. And uh, he has caught the attention of uh, many, many of the top teams, including Liverpool, where the rumor has it that Jurgen Klopp has, uh, has, been, has been watching his performance and has put him in his target list for summer 2018 transfers. So, uh, at the moment, uh, I, I have started the game in the middle of February. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to fast forward until the end of the first season when I'm going to make the transfer. And uh, then we're going to see in the next three seasons how does DD fit at Anfield. And here we are, 1st of July 2018. The transfer window has been uh, reopened and uh, I have transferred Wilfred DD to Liverpool for £40 million. This is a sum that uh, has been circulating in the media and I just use it uh, as, a, as a standard amount to pay for his services to Leicester. Now, since it's, uh, it's still the summer and there is uh, not much we can do at this moment, I just want to quickly make an overview of uh, what happened in this season in the Premier League before I fast forward three more years into the future. As you can see on the screen, the Premier League title went to Manchester City, that, uh, who won with 90 points, 8 more than second place Manchester United, while Tottenham and Chelsea finished in third and fourth uh, respectively. Liverpool were left out of the Champions League after finishing in 5th position and only accumulating 72 points. With that, now I'm going to fast forward 3 years into the future so that we can see how Wilfred Ndidi has impacted his new team. The year is now 2021 and the date is 2nd of June, which means that the next 3 seasons have ended. We are now back in the Premier League to see what happened. First of all, how we start with the first season where Manchester City claimed the title, Liverpool finished 5th. Then, year after that, Manchester City managed to defend their title, this time with 88 points, one more than second place Manchester United, while Liverpool finished in fourth position, just a point behind third place Tottenham. In the third season, uh, then we, he we see here Manchester City claimed a third successive title, Manchester United second again, this time on level with third place Liverpool with 82 points each, but Manchester United have 11 goals, better goal difference. Chelsea are the fourth team and are completing the top four. And in the final season uh, of uh, this video, we see that uh, Liverpool have slipped down to 6th position while champions are Manchester United with 89 points, which is 9 more than 2nd place Tottenham and Manchester City, while Liverpool have 64, which is 6 less than 4th place Arsenal. Having a look at Liverpool's overview screen, we can see that Jurgen Klopp is still their manager, Jordan Henderson is the captain, while Kieran Tierney, uh, who is a, a left fullback from Celtic, apparently has been purchased. Uh, he has uh, now become their vice captain, and Nabi Keita is the key player. If we look at the tactic screen, let me just expand that, we can see that also Edison Cavani is uh, at the team, as well as Viktor Kovalenko. Uh, Viktor Kovalenko, who has been playing for Shakhtar Donetsk, he is an attacking midfielder and has apparently been purchased, as well as Kevin Volant from Leverkusen. We are going to have a look at those transfers in a second. The goalkeeper is also a new one, Ron Robert Ziller, who has been playing for Leicester in the Premier League in the past few years. Uh, also, uh, we see that um, uh, Victor Wanyama is in the team, Emil Forsberg is here, so uh, we will we'll go into analyze the transfers uh, in more details um, just, just next to that. Starting in the first season, of course, there's nothing there since we started in February. Then in the in the year after that, Benoit Tremoulinas, I'm not sure uh, who that is. He's now an assistant coach, but uh, what was he as a player? I'm not really sure. I'm not familiar with that name. Apparently, he was brought on a free transfer. Wilfred Dindi, which uh, we already uh, saw, and Nabi Keita, who is an arranged transfer from before. And the only real transfer that Jurgen Klopp made that uh, that transfer window is Dries Martens uh, from Napoli for 26.5 million pounds. He's uh, still at the team at 34 years uh, of age. And uh, let me see how how did he perform in the last seasons. He was actually quite a good purchase. You can see that uh, he scored 
10 goals in his first season, 4 assists and an Ujan average rating of 7.22. Then in his second season, 8 goals, another 2 assists and 7.16 average rating, which is not too bad at all. In the same season, Ragnar Klavan was sold to Real Sociedad, Emre Can went to Bayern Munich for £53 million, Flanagan was sold to Huddersfield, Alberto Moreno to Napoli, Adam Lallana was sold to Arsenal for £23 million, Danny Ward to Reading, Alan. I'm not familiar with that guy, he's a, a midfielder and apparently he has, he has been playing for Liverpool for quite a while, being sent on loan in uh, different teams, never really establishing himself at, uh, at Anfield. Now he has been sold to uh, Internacional for less than a million pounds. In the next season, Kieran Tierney was brought from Celtic, Edinson Cavani from uh, Paris Saint-Germain, Emil Forsberg from Red Bull Leipzig, Victor Wanyama from Tottenham and Kevin Volland from Leverkusen, all key players in the current Liverpool squad. In the outgoing section, uh, the, the players leaving uh, Liverpool were Danny Ings to Watford, Roberto Firmino to Manchester City for £77 million. Pounds. Divo Corrigi to Roma and Dominic Solanke to Burnley for £2.1 million. Pounds. And in the final season, Ron Robert Ziller was brought from Stuttgart for £16.25 million, pounds, while Viktor Kovalenko was purchased from Shakhtar for £31 million. Pounds. And this player, Tom Dele Bashiru, he is a Manchester City graduate as far as I can see. Yes, indeed. He was brought on a free transfer, and uh, looking at his stats, I'm not really sure that he's going to make it. Sadio Mane was sold to Tottenham that, that same season, Harry Wilson to Newcastle, Ryan Kent to Reading and that were all the uh, important transfers in the final year. Now I'm going to focus my attention to the English Cup competitions and see what happened there if Liverpool managed to have any success in those, in those Cups. First off, I'm going to start with the FA Cup where we can see that Manchester United were totally dominant and they won this Cup in four successive years. So in this whole experiment, this uh, FA Cup trophy went to Old Trafford in every single season. Let's move now to the League Cup and see what happened there. Burnley won the first one, Stoke the second one, Arsenal the third one and Manchester United the last one after defeating West Ham in the final. So Manchester United were quite successful in this last season. Switching to the European competitions and first off is the Europa League. In the first season Sevilla won the Europa League which is uh, quite natural for them I think. And in uh, year 2017-18 they defeated Monaco in the final on penalties after, uh, after ending the regular time 1-1. They also defeated Everton in, in the semi-final, Besiktas in the quarter-final and uh, Milan in the second knockout round. Then year after that Bayern Munich were successful in the second most important European competition after beating Arsenal 2-1 in extra time in the final. They also eliminated Shakhtar Donetsk in the semi-final, Valencia in the quarters and CSK Moscow in the second knockout round. Liverpool were eliminated by Fiorentina in the second knockout round that season. Year season 2019-20 uh, Chelsea won the Europa League after beating Roma 2-1 in the final in extra time. Chelsea qualified for that game after eliminating Monaco in the semi-final, Valencia in the quarters and PSV Eindhoven in the second knockout round. And in the last season the trophy went to Lyon who managed to eliminate Arsenal in the final that was played at the Allianz Arena. Lyon also uh, beat Dynamo Kiev on their way to the final, Tottenham and uh, CSK Moscow. Moving one level up to the Champions League, the first trophy here was won by Manchester City after they beat Barcelona in the final. So this is their very first Champions League trophy. Uh, they managed to eliminate the Catalonians 1-0. Um, they also beat Bayern Munich in the semi-finals, Shakhtar Donetsk in the quarter-finals and Red Bull Leipzig in the first knockout round, while Liverpool managed to eliminate Atletico Madrid in the first knockout round but were beaten by Bayern Munich in the quarters. Here after that, Manchester City won the All Manchester final uh, after they beat Manchester United 2-1 in that game. So this is two in a row for them. Uh, they also eliminated Atletico Madrid, Juventus and uh, Napoli on their way to this trophy. Year 2019-2020, Real Madrid won the Champions League on penalties against uh, Paris Saint-Germain. They also beat uh, Inter Milan. Juventus and Napoli, while Liverpool eliminated uh, Lyon in the first knockout round only to be beaten by Inter in the quarterfinals. 
In the final season, Manchester United claimed the Champions League after beating Bayern Munich 2-0 in the final. They also eliminated Milan, Chelsea and Benfica on their way to this trophy. Liverpool were eliminated in the first knockout round by Paris Saint-Germain. Finally, I want to see the Ballon d'Or awards and uh, we can see here in 2019, uh, 2018 apologies, Lionel Messi claimed the award with Neymar in second place and Antoine Griezmann in third place. The year after that, again, Lionel Messi was the winner, Cristiano Ronaldo in second place, Griezmann in third. And uh, year 2020, Neymar won the award with uh, Messi and Ronaldo second and third respectively. Before I finish this video, let's have a quick look at uh, Wilfred Ndidi's stats for the past three seasons. So in his first season, he played uh, a total of 32 games, two of which he came on as a substitute, scored two goals, managed to do three assists and uh, picked up an average rating of 6.87, which is not that impressive. Then in the next season, he played only 14 games, another two goals with an average rating of 6.84. And in the final season, 17 games with 3 assists and 6.87. So, uh, in overall, I would say that um, Didi did not really impress at Anfield and uh, his career cannot be qualified as a big success for the Reds. You can see their current uh, first team squad and uh, Keita and Henderson are playing in the midfield positions. Not really a lot of plays for Didi there. Alright, that's it for this video guys, don't forget to like it and subscribe for my channel if you haven't already, that way you're going to receive notifications for when I upload new videos. In the meantime, you can also check out my social media, links will be provided in the description below. Let me know what do you think about this experiment and what would you like to see next, I would love to hear from you in the comments. Once again, thank you for watching, until the next time, bye!